Hi there, Pray Plant Girl here. Isn't this refreshing? It's finally getting to be spring around here. I was out getting groceries today and the store had some, uh, some packs of plants and I just couldn't resist picking a few up and potting them in this sweet little planter just to have something out of my patio. It's still pretty gray in the yard here. But uh, this video is about what to plant in May in a cool season climate with a short growing season like I have here. For those of you that are new to the channel, I garden in Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, I have about an average of 110 frost-free growing days starting in about May 24th. So I'm getting really close to that uh, last frost date once I hit May and uh, I'm really itching to get going and get some seeds planted in the ground. I've started lots of things inside. I have a few things in my cold frame but I'm ready to put seeds in the ground, out in my garden, and get growing. So I thought I would share with you my list of things that I like to start in May. So this is the time of year. This first part of May, I can actually start putting seeds in the ground. I'm gonna start putting seeds for things like my, my brassicas, my cabbages, pak choy, cauliflower, uh, kohlrabi, broccoli, you know, all those great uh, brassica plants. They, they don't mind kale, they don't mind the cold. They'll, they'll be good. So as long as my soil is, you know, around five to 10 degrees Celsius, you know, it's not too wet yet. It's not sticking and clumping from spring rains or snow melting. And I can easily work down in it several, several inches, you know, like 10, 15 centimeters, then I'm really happy to get planting and get going. These first few weeks of the month, I'll be putting things, um, my beets in the ground. I'll be putting spinach and lettuce seeds in the ground. I'll even put a few starts of some of those things down because uh, if they're hardened off well, they're pretty cold hardy, a lot of those, those plants. Um, radishes are another great thing to get going. Carrots and parsnips can get started early. Um, all of these things you have to keep in mind, sometimes will take a little bit longer to germinate in the cooler soil, but a lot of them do prefer, you know, the cooler days and nights that we're experiencing right now. So once they get going, they're usually quite content with it. Onions is another uh, great thing to be planting this time of year. Um, now you can speed all of this up. I like to put uh, plastic hoops over top of a lot of my uh, planting beds so I can get seeds in the ground just a little bit earlier. Because if you leave that up for, for uh, you know, three to five good sunny days, usually it'll really warm your soil up quite a bit. You do have to be careful, however, because you don't want to, to leave those closed up once the plants um, germinate and start growing because it'll get too hot in there on a sunny day for your young seedlings. Um, and also keep in mind that if you're doing that, obviously none of your spring rains will be getting to your plants. You'll need to be watering them. Peas usually will do quite well in, uh, you know, about the first to second week of May, get them planted out. They can handle a little bit of uh, frost when they're just early sprouting up. And uh, this is the time of year I like to start my potatoes in the, in the ground as well. As long as I can dig down deep enough um, and not have frozen soil, though I've heard some people even plant them right onto the frozen soil. Uh, but I like, to, like, I like to have it workable down where, where I'm planting and uh, I'll put them in. If you're concerned um, about them rotting, especially if your soil is quite damp and cold, just uh, usually if you, if you know they're chitted first and then just don't bury them completely, just bury them a little bit and then you'll see them come up um, quickly so you'll know, have a better idea of what's happening not be worrying about them. They can always backfill with more soil afterwards. Some uh, other seeds that I'll be starting but not outside will be my melons and squash seeds. Those are things that I'll still be starting indoors where it's nice and warm uh, because they can't handle the cold weather. But I want to get them started near the end of the month, right around my average last frost date. I will start planting some of those inside and I'll plant them in um, like peat pots or compostable planting bags or something, something that'll allow the roots to get out and I can plant them right into in that pot just to give them less root disturbance because that seems to be something they prefer. Um, the same thing with things like cucumbers. Now, a lot of your squashes and your cucumbers and your melons, you can just direct sow into hills in the ground. Um, about that 
last, very last part of May, last few days of May, early June. Um, but if you want a head start, just put them in something that you can plant them directly in that pot into the ground and uh, get them started indoors. No more than two weeks early, I would say. Um, again, beans, it really depends on your weather, but uh, after you've hit that last frost date, if your forecast is looking like it's gonna stay well above um, those freezing temperatures, like five degrees Celsius or so, and your soil has warmed up and gotten really nice and warm, so you put your hands in there and it feels, you know, pretty much the same as your, as your hand, then uh, you're good to put your beans out, but you don't wanna put them out into cold soil. They don't like that. When it comes to your flowers, and your flower seeds, there's so many things that you can just be putting the seeds in the ground now this time of year. Um, a lot of your native plants, if you didn't plant them in the fall um, and you didn't start them indoors, you can be scattering the seeds or if you prefer to be more methodical, planting them out carefully into your, uh, into your flower beds or your planting spaces right now. Um, the same with things like uh, cosmos, and zinnias, and marigolds, um, nasturtium, calendula, your sunflowers. Those are all things that you could be starting inside the beginning of May, or you could just be waiting until around that average last frost date, or even, you know, sometimes even a week before, get them planted in the ground then. And a lot of them will do really well getting planted directly like that. So um, if you're not worried about uh, just putting them right in the soil, you could be planting them, you know, up to five days a week before your average last frost date, as long as, again, the soil has started to warm up and they'll do just fine that way. It might delay flowering a little bit than if you started them earlier indoors, but then it's not taking up all that time and energy and space inside to grow them on early. So I like to grow a lot of those things from seed um, right outside. Things like your poppies and your sweet peas can be put in the ground usually right at the beginning of May. Uh, usually the ground is workable enough. Here my ground is usually drained. We just don't get a lot of moisture. So I can start putting those things in the ground now. Poppies you could actually be scattering out over the snow months ago if you, if you uh, wanted to. So there's so many things that can be started already in May, even before we've had our average last frost date. So if you're itching to get going and get started, now's the time. Grab those packs of seeds find some nice workable soil and start planting and you might just get some early crops this year. So thanks for watching and happy gardening. Bye. Now I'm gonna have to figure out where I want the rest of these flowers I bought today. A little bit of a splurge, but it's just so refreshing to see all this bright color and cheeriness. Osteospermum and pansies, which is what this is can really take, you know, some moderately uh, cold temperatures. So if you're staying just above your freezing point, uh, you know, and just in a very, very light frost or, or just close to it, these will do just fine outside for you. You can always just throw a sheet over them at night. Look at that.